it, it's funny because they, they both uh, kind of take this laid back approach to the game. Zion playing Corrin and Wario. Yeah, uh, you were mentioning the Skirt Mamas, that's all Pikachu. Yeah. Zion definitely he plays Wario. He's got the court. He also has a Falco, if I'm not mistaken, too. His Falco's fraudulent. Oh, okay. He won't go Falco. <laughs> if he does go Falco, I'm going to berate him. But, anyways, starting off the game uh, with some quick Pikachu combos, and Wario's already getting hungry. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see because, you know, usually Scorchmon is probably, I would say, accustomed to being the more patient player on the in the match at any given time. But with the Wario on the gameplay, that's like one, the one character that can outpatient and kind of weave around the Pikachu, you know, camp game. So let's see how he reacts to that. Yeah, you guys got to remember, as, as Scorchmon plays patient and that clock is ticking, you got a little bit of a... A little bit of a trump card there for Wario. Just building up, generating, you got that waft online at some point in time. So, let's see how they manage the call. Yeah, just another dynamic, you know? And that's in a dynamic that's actually really important in the Pikachu matchup. Such a light character is gonna die right. so early to that. So even if if uh, Zion, or if Shrugman manages to rack up a ton of damage, um, and uh, an extremely large lead on second stock, it doesn't right. matter. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm not sure who the favorite could, I, I would assume that uh, Scorch Mom is considered the favorite point in this match. But I know Zion is really capable at the Pikachu matchup because, you know, back in the day when uh, NC Jacob T was just, uh, you know, he played mostly Pikachu, he definitely took a set off, uh, off of him. So I know they have, you know, he has a history of being able to beat Pikachus. I honestly would, would, uh, not sleep on Zion right now. Right. Ooh, he meant to be reverse that. But no punish anyway. He's going to live that because Wario is. Yeah, Wario is heavy. online too. Rage Wario right now is is scary. <laughs> it just keeps building, man. Oh, I thought he was going to power shield and come out wafting right there. <laughs> I, I felt it. Yeah, but no. Not no waft. Not yet. Because, you know, he can kill him with so many other things right now. And hold it on to the next stop. Yep. That's what the you know that's the thinking game, right? Am I gonna hold it on to hold on to it till the next stock, or should I burn it now? And that's kind of like you know one of the one of the uh, defining traits and characteristics of the uh, Wario, right? Whether they're the one that they, they want to burn their waff. Oh, okay. And use it now, and, or you know like right there, or are they gonna hold on to it? What kind of warrior are you gonna be, right? It's a good out of field option, so you know you take it. And he's way too high for Thunder to even hit. That's when you know you're in full rage mode, right? Up throw is not going to kill yet, but it is a kill throw at high percent with rage. Since he has no rage, it's like it's going to take forever against Wario. Yeah, okay. He's got to start you know, putting on. And it's not so much the damage that's the big thing here. It's every second that he can buy right now. Yep. In the, uh, in with the stock on. It's another second that he has to build that wall. My goodness, 219%. There's always a stream match at Falcon Punch Fridays that that someone lives to ridiculous percent. Very good, just new, uh, neutral exchange right there. Oh, great bite! Yeah, picks up that like you know extended hurt box on that quick attack. Sooner or later, the bite comes for us all. And up throw? I think this will do it. Yes, yeah. finally, finally up throw, taking the stock. That was crazy. Got to do it the hard way sometimes, right? You know, Zion actually doesn't really have a good lead because this is one Pikachu combo. Right. Well, the important part is that Waft is online. That's the main yes. thing. That's like... And since, that, you know. since it's a half charge Waft, he can actually true combo into it right. uh, with down air. Fun fact, the half charge Waft comes out in five frames, whereas the full charge Waft comes out in eight. So you can true combo into the, uh, the half charge, but not the full charge. So, that could be interesting. Maybe we'll see it here. I know Zion knows he has it. And it's almost, you know, it's you know, almost at the percent where I would think it'd be good to hold on to it for right now until you get the full charge, like right now. Because if he burns it, it's soon. He'll have enough to get a half charge loss. Where, you know, tactically speaking, a minute from now, Pikachu will have enough damage or a half charge loss will kill anyway. Oh, he's got it. Yeah. Oh, I'll try to get the oh, hit lag on the on the bike to yeah. extend it. 
I see, he's still got enough time to generate another walk where he has, you know. He, he does. doesn't have to really do anything too crazy. But now we're at a minute out and the clock is going to be a factor, right? We could actually potentially see a, a timeout. I would oh, not be surprised. Oh, he got Mom Spaghetti right there. Didn't know which way Pikachu was going to go after that quick attack. And even Zion's got to, like, maybe, you know, chill down a little bit because he doesn't, you know, he's not obligated to do anything. Ooh, went for the up air. Oh, wow. That up smash barely lived. Very good forward air. <laughs> I like right. Wario sound Zion's effects. in business here with the bike. And it's a close one. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That bike was huge. He's got the lead. Oh, but the fourth throw, not going to take it yet. And we're at 12. 12 seconds. Oh, my goodness. This is looking Hold like a timeout. And He's a close it. one, too. That quick attack. Oh, that's oh, it. That's it. He's got it. Wow. He stole the victory That's right there. Crazy. 2% and Scourge Mom takes game one. Tell me that timeouts are not hype. That Tell me that timeouts was are not hype. Not hype. That was hype. That okay. was not hype. <laughs> yeah, you and I are watching different games. Just timeout. That that was hype. Uh oh. <laughs> so yeah, All if right. you're in the stream where uh, we got some technical difficulties going on right now. So just kind of bear with us. We're doing our best. We will be switching connections. They're timing each other out anyway, set, so. so. They're timing each other out anyway, so you know we'll see you after, and we'll see you in about six minutes. Oh, but they want to see it. <laughs> Bring the hype. One, go. No, these two players are doing their best. They're doing what they can to win, and I appreciate. It. I appreciate it, even if it's not the most fun to watch. It's it's good to see their determination. Yeah. And Pikachu combos are happening right now. Yep. A little edge guard. All right, good ledge snap there by Zion. He needed to snap it as soon as possible so that he didn't get caught by that thunder. And if you're Zion, you got to be a little bit salty right now because you worked so hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Went in for 5 minutes and 58 seconds and... But they're keeping it close. And remember that Wasps are going to be online pretty soon here. Another uh, 10 seconds or so. He got a, a turn into a kill move. Not a powerful one, but as more time goes on, he gets stronger. Ooh, that down tilt actually got rid of the bike. Right. Scorch Mom playing a little, you know. Oh, wow. That's a bad. That's a bad Wasp right there. And now Zion having a, a much harder time. And not only is he down a percent, the big thing is he's down because he burned that wall mad early. Yep. And it didn't make it count. He got to make it count. Ooh, he's going for the riskiest things now. Maybe you got to stick to the game plan here. Try to hold it together. And and the thing that sucks right now is that he has to try to approach as Wario, which is probably the hardest thing for Wario to do. Well, you know, it's, that's, you know, that's kind of debatable. Like, people kind of get caught up into the fact that when they're behind, they have to approach. But you don't really have to approach because, uh, you know, the time runs forever. It Great really, snipe, though, with the thunder. Yeah, you got snipe with the But that's because, you know, he approached when he didn't really have to. You're, you know, even if you're behind, tactically speaking, or strategically speaking, you can still run the clock and pick your battles and make sure that you don't go in on just, you know, bad situations and really compound disadvantage situations and make it that much worse. That's kind of some of the points of being, you know, a more veteran player. He's got to manage the clock and stick Definitely. to the game plan, even if it's not working. That's the hard part, right? Yep. It's easy to believe in the game plan when things are going great and you're winning by 100% with a minute to go. But once you've, uh, once that game plan is lost, it's hard to hold on to it just that little bit, even if you need to. Sometimes, even if game plan, game plan loses game one, it might be the right one to win game two and game three. But yeah, definitely Scorch Mom is playing so much more confidently this game. Just a lot more, you know, kind of has a more command yep. of the whole entire stage. He's landing his, uh, his uh, combos, move. Kind of bullying, bullying Zion around the stage. 
Picture of the, the last set of thunder right there. Oh, but the back air, gonna take it. So Zion is actually back in this with a full waft. Right. And that's, that's kind of be a, 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 you see, Scorch Mom sat there and thought about it, because I think he sees what I see too, that, you know, Zion's at rage, and he has his waft online. Yep. So if he does not approach this carefully, you know, Zion has enough power in that. If he picks up 40, 50%, 40% for Pikachu, that might be enough to steal it. So, better, I have, better in play. I have seen Zan ha be up 150% on Anwar, and, 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 and Anwar got a waft at like 20%, and and we're taking. <laughs> so, uh, so it's it's one it's like you you really really cannot mess around with this move at all. Right. More than one type of rage in that game, I'm sure. Oh, oh, definitely. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a tentativeness right there because I know before so I was just running up and putting that grab in. That time oh my goodness. Waited. That actually could have been the waft. You can true combo into the waft with the bike as well. Uh, trying to pick up a read right there. Yeah. Not quite enough. Oh, I thought he was going to clip him with Thunder right there. Good bite. And he's in business right here. Got him in an edge guard. Let's see what he can make happen. There's a quick attack. Oh, I think Waff. he... Uh, oh, oh what? what? What just happened? I think that was the weakest possible hit of what... I have no idea what Sakurai happened. Sakurai is a dirty liar. That's what just happened right there. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm salty. My goodness. Well, you know, he honestly could probably kill him with an up smash anyway. Yeah, he's got enough rage, and if he can just line it up with the back, back air. air. Yeah. Yeah, the back air. All uh, right, good stuff to so Scourge Mom. Yeah. That was actually the closest that we've had.